If you have a laptop that five or 10 minutes later without having the power plug will go down. And if you are thinking about purchasing a new laptop or delivering to a store to fix it, uh, you probably want to stick out on this video because we are going to replace a battery and it's going to save you some money. Now you might say, okay, but my computer is different from yours. That might be, but the process is exactly the same. And I'm going to share with you what I did with this one. And you will be able to apply on your old laptop and turn it into a new laptop. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below so we are with 43 battery at this moment and this is the new battery that i already replaced now this computer is a i7 8th generation so since it was new it has been a computer that is not very efficient on battery wise so i'm not expecting that at this moment it will turn to a battery efficient computer all i want is that it behaves like it did eight years ago which is more or less the age that it has now before i talk about the process if by any reason you finish up this video and your idea is robert i will not be able to put my computer new in terms of performance is not worth it i want a new computer the one that i'm using at this moment in terms of windows computer is the n1 i've shared quite a few videos right over here as a dual screen setup which is great because i use the bottom screen with my obs configuration and my file folder and then on the bigger screen i use the screen to share tutorials with you which i will not be doing today today we are only talking about the process the first step is to shut down the computer close it up and find the screws which in my case are right over here and we need to remove these screws now if you are not used to handle with computers and things like that don't be afraid because first of all there's not much that we can do to damage the computer and if it's your first time then it will be a really nice adventure and at the end it will pay off because you will have your computer without spending too much money 30 or 40 euros on a new battery with a long lasting battery like you would when it was new so just remove all those screws in my particular case i've got about seven or eight screws one of which is hidden beneath a rubber thingy right over here so just have in mind if you have any difficulty removing don't push it too hard because usually it's just a matter of pushing here or there and it will open now once we open the laptop we will have access to the battery actually we will have access to all the components but for this particular video we just need the battery now i already have my laptop closed but i do have the battery right over here and if you see there is the model right over there and this is the model that in my particular case i will search the web for so you just need to find the model of your battery most people search for the laptop model and that's not the best way to accomplish a good purchase because there are several different laptops that use the exact same model of battery so it doesn't matter the brand it matters the model of the battery now once you search for it you will find a lot of options i imagine like i did on mine i always prefer to go to Amazon if I have that choice and if the price difference is not that much in my case I did purchase it for about 30 something euros I had the option to go to AliExpress it was about 10 euros cheaper but on Amazon was faster and in terms of customer service in my country is a lot faster if I need to exchange anything so that was my choice I will leave the link down below so just in case you want to check the model of my battery now once it arrives which was today I just need to place it in and to do that we need to remove the old battery in my case it only had two screws and then besides the screws we have to remove the connector that connects the battery to the laptop that will deliver the 
energy and that is it just remove the old one and place in the new by the way this one which is the old one is really inflated and i knew that it was inflated but once i did receive the new one i put it side by side and that was when i realized that it's too much inflated i shouldn't have waited so long to replace this battery now to put it in place just the reverse order in my case just put it like this and then screw with the two screws and put the connector back in place we need to be careful with the connector because these connectors are fragile so if you see that you can't remove or place in with your finger which i believe that you can use a old credit card or if you have one of these uh, tool package with these tweezers and things like that then you can try and use those but i would suggest here this is the part that you need to be careful not to worry but just be careful once we put in the connector and we can put the cover back on put the screws back on in my particular case i didn't even test it out we should and i should have tested out before putting the cover but i was so confident that i didn't and after that we just need to open it up in my case the battery was charged up to 50 something percent i did play a video of a channel that you know on youtube and it was handling fine at this moment is with 40 percent battery i already recorded a video sharing my experience on my portuguese channel i'm recording this video on my english channel and sharing my experience with you so this is what i was used to uh, having in terms of battery when this computer was new so in terms of battery efficient as you can see it's not efficient but it's a lot better than what i was having right now which was about five minutes and it would die on me and this is the process regardless of the brand of your laptop or the brand of the battery that you are going to choose and you might have one more screw on one less screw but this is exactly what you need to do to save some money and have your computer back again hopefully this video was helpful and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Huerto George and as always I'll see you on the next one